Hi, this is Tim Donahue of 8.9seconds.com, bringing you a Twitter preview, my thoughts on the game in 140 seconds or less. Sunday night in Staples Center, the Pacers picked up their best win of the season, defeating the Los Angeles Lakers 98-96, gave them a 2-1 record on a West Coast road swing, and brought them to 11-4 overall. They don't have them long to celebrate, as Tuesday night brings the Orlando Magic to Banker's Life Fieldhouse. The Magic enter the game at 11-5 overall and 5-3 and on the road, but they're coming off perhaps their worst offensive performance in franchise history. They scored only 56 points in a 31-point loss to the Boston Celtics on Monday night and shot only 24.6%, both franchise lows. Making matters worse, the Celtics were without Rajon Rondo and Ray Allen. It doesn't get easier for the Magic tonight as they face the fourth best team in defense overall and the best team in the league in defending the field goal in the Indiana Pacers. For Orlando, as always, keep an eye on Dwight Howard. He's a special talent, but also check out Ryan Anderson. Anderson's a 23-year-old stretch four who's averaged just under 17 points and seven rebounds a game thus far this season while shooting over 40% from three-point range. On the Pacers' side, I'm watching two things. First, Roy Hibbert's broken nose. He played great with it the other night in Los Angeles, but it's hard to tell how much of that was adrenaline. It's an inconvenient and painful thing to play with. It'll be worth watching to see if it affects him going forward. Second, Tyler Hansbrough. Hansbrough's been struggling of late. He's hit only five of his last 23 shots. And with a Pacers bench that's been spotty outside of George Hill, they really need his scoring in order to keep going. This is the only game before going back out on the road on another tough three-game road trip, so this is an important win for the Pacers to get. That's all I've got. Enjoy the game, and come check us out at 8points9seconds.com. Thanks.